Good evening. This with me is the new Ford Freestyle. This is Ford's new cross hatch and it's coming to a Ford showroom near you very soon. As you can tell, this car is based on the Figo hatchback, but quite a bit has changed. I'll just zoom out a bit. Here we go. Now, what's new on the car? As you can tell, it's got all the typical cross hatchback details. So it's got the body cladding on the sides and on the bumpers. Uh, it's got roof rails and the ground clearance is also up a substantial 16mm to 190mm, which is quite good by class standards. Now, a bit closer. There we go. Now, the headlines get a smoked effect, but if you look at the grill, it's slightly different and in fact the treatment of the bonnet is very different to the standard Figo. This in fact is the look of the new Figo uh, facelift which will come this year as well as the Aspire. What will be unique to the freestyle is this nice C-shaped element along the fog lamps and the uh, scuff plates at the front. On the sides. Ford has made the switch to larger 15 inch rims, uh, the split 4 spoke alloy wheels look quite cool but they still look a bit small under those large wheel arches. Ford said that they went for a 60 aspect ratio tyre and that's one of the reasons they couldn't have gone for a larger 16 inch rim. The outside uh, mirrors are in a contrast shade and a cool thing is that the roof rails are actually functional and can hold about 50 kgs of weight. At the rear, it's quite familiar to what we already know of the Vigo hatchback, but there you go. The taillights have been reprofiled a bit. There are these four air vents at the bottom. They don't really do anything, but they add a bit to the look. And if you zoom out, you will see that the freestyle looks a little bit more substantial than the Figo hatchback. All the cross hatchback addenda and the added height really makes a big difference. Now, before we get on the inside, here's a look at the key. Nice and chunky, very well done. So the interior, again, uh, it's similar to what we've seen already before, but there are a few big changes. As you can tell, the center console has been updated. There we go. And in comes a new 6.5 inch touchscreen infotainment system. It's a Ford Sync 3 system and get it on. It really is one of the best around. It gets Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's really slick and has the functionality of an iPad. It really is that good. Then, also unique to the freestyle is the chocolate on black interior trim. I can tell you it grows on you. Spend some time in the car and you will appreciate it. Of the other things, there we go. The steering is nice and chunky. It feels a bit too chunky in certain hands, but it's quite nice. Unfortunately, we aren't quite fans of the instrument console. It looks a bit plain. And what's a bit sad is that the tachometer and fuel filler, fuel gate, sorry, get the same amount of space. Anyway, of the other cool bits, yeah. So, top versions of the Freestyle will get 6 airbags, there is also traction control which you can switch off, there will be ESP and as well as something called ARP which is active rollover protection. So when the car senses that a rollover is possible, it cuts engine power or brakes individual wheels to restore stability and it works really well. Okay, in the back, uh, space is again, same as what there was on the Figo, no real changes here. So legroom is adequate, headroom can be a bit 
of uh, a squeeze for taller people and unfortunately only fixed headdress here and uh, they also tend to jut out into the back so something which uh, maybe Ford should have looked into. Now, the freestyle will be available with two engine options. One we're familiar with, it's a 1.5 liter diesel that makes 100 horsepower and 215 newton meters. The other is of great importance. It's the new 1.2 liter petrol engine from Ford. It's a three cylinder unit that makes its debut here and Par is the headline figure. It makes 96 horsepower, which is